Hello viewers, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to be using Docker machine to create machines uh, with Docker runtime installed. So in the previous video, we saw how to download the Docker machine binary uh, and install it on your Linux distribution or on your Windows machine. So this time we are going to quickly look at how to create a machine using this Docker machine command. Okay, so all you need in your host machine is um, Docker machine binary installed and also VirtualBox. So in this video, we will be using VirtualBox uh, to create uh, the virtual machines with Docker runtime installed. And in the next video, we will be uh, creating the machines in Amazon EC2. Okay, so which Docker machine? I've got Docker machine and we can do Docker machine to see what commands are available. So the first command we will be using is to uh, create a docker machine which is the create command so before that you can do ls to see if there are any machines docker machine ls is the command to list uh, the machines so we don't have any machines at the moment and now we can look at uh, the docker machine create command so if you want to look at uh, the documentation for any particular commands here you can do docker machine and the type of the command that you want uh, more details about and pass minus minus help option so now we're going to look at the create command so we need to know what options we can pass to the uh, create command and so on so docker machine create minus minus help and pipe that to less because it's going to show you lots of information okay so it's going to create a machine description run docker machine create minus minus driver so that's important because it supports lots of drivers and you can see here from my notes because it supports VirtualBox, VMware, AWS EC2, Google Cloud, Azure, Digital Ocean and so on. There are a lot more that I haven't included in this notes. So you need to specify which driver. I think if you don't specify the driver, it uses VirtualBox by default, but I'm not sure about it. Okay, and then we have all these options here, which we can use, but um, let's not go through all of them and uh, i know what you, you can have a look at those documentations if you want uh, you can try individual options if you like but let's go ahead and create a simple machine docker machine create minus minus driver is virtual box okay and uh, let's give it a name let's call it node one okay and if i show my virtual box all I have now is a Windows 10 virtual machine that's powered off. But when I run this Docker machine, it's going to create a virtual box virtual machine in my machine here. So I'm calling the machine node one. OK, so it's going to create uh, the virtual machine and it will appear here anytime. Yep, there you go. Node one and it is um, running now. Very soon we should be able to see that machine. All right. So it has completed creating the machine and here node one is the machine which is a virtual box machine and it's running. Now if I do docker machine ls, so now you can see here there's the machine called node one. Driver type is virtual box and it's running now and it has installed docker version 19.03.5 on that machine on node one. Okay, so what other commands can we use from here? Docker machine uh, inspect node one and pipe that to less. You can look at more information about the machine that you deployed, IP address, machine name, SSH user, complete details about the machine. So Docker inspect. So that's one command. And then Docker machine status docker machine status node one node one is the name of the machine that we deployed okay status is just running and you can do docker machine stop node one and you can start restart you can do all those things okay so now if you want to log in to the machine that you have created you can use the ssh command docker machine ssh node one there you go so now you are inside uh, the node inside the virtual machine and if I do docker version Cool, so we have 19.03.5 version available. Let's start a container Okay Export term equals xterm 
Okay, Docker run nginx. Okay, Docker run. What is it? Docker run minus d minus p. 80 80 colon 80 engine x unable to find okay it's going to pull the image all right docker ps so you can see here our engine x container is running fine this is inside the virtual machine that we created using docker machine so if i exit out of it so this is my host machine and if i do docker ps there is nothing running because i'm connected to my host machine okay so what if you want to connect if you're managing multiple docker machines let's say this is your host machine you've got docker machine installed and you've deployed lots of uh, uh, docker machines with docker runtime installed and if you want to run a docker command you don't necessarily need to log into that machine using ssh to be able to run everything so you can use the docker binary on your host machine to connect to each of these machine and then run certain commands which i'm going to show you now okay so docker machine als so we have just one machine right now so from my host machine i want to be able to run docker commands to interact with this machine i don't have to ssh into that machine okay so again i'm showing you docker ps this is my host machine and i'm not running any containers but if you remember we just started an nginx container inside uh, the node one virtual machine so now i'm going to point my docker binary to the docker runtime running inside this machine okay so the command is docker machine n node one it's going to show you some information and the last command is the one that you need to run so copy and run that command cool so now if you run any docker command it's going to run uh, it's going to point to the uh, node one virtual machine so if i do docker ps you can see the nginx container uh, that we created inside the node one virtual machine so i'm not connected to my local docker runtime anymore all my commands are being sent to this address here docker host cool so that's how you switch between uh, different machines so docker machine n if you've got another node you can do node 2 and so on okay if you were to stop the machine docker machine um, let's look at the help command you can kill the machine if you want to look at the ip of the machine particular machine you can do docker machine ip node 1 so that's the ip address of that machine yes as such yesap if you want to um transfer files between your host machine and your one of your docker machine or between docker machines you can use docker scp command start stop um, upgrade so if you want to upgrade the docker runtime which is now uh, 19.03.5 and if you want to upgrade the docker runtime just do docker machine upgrade node one so that will uh, stop the machine upgrade the docker container and bring up the machine again okay and what else so let's stop that machine docker machine stop node one so that one by default i'm not sure what configuration it has created okay base memory is uh one gig and how many cpus settings uh system processor so one cpu and the memory is system motherboard base memory memory is one gig and processor is one cpu but if you were to uh, change it you can do it so docker machine create minus minus driver virtual box minus minus help and if you look at the help option you can specify the number of cpu that you want for a particular virtual machine so you have minus minus virtual box memory and you've got uh, virtual box cpu count okay so docker machine create minus minus driver virtual box minus minus virtual box cpu count is two minus minus virtual box memory is two gig 
2048 and then give it a name node 2 so that's going to uh, create a machine with two cpu and two gig of memory so you've got some control over over that as well okay so what else docker machine help all right config active create we've looked at all those options uh, restart remove okay let's try and remove that docker machine remove node one yes i want to remove it successfully remote and back in my virtual box that machine is gone docker machine ls okay so that's gone okay i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video it's really simple uh, to spin up a machine virtual machine with docker runtime install and you can use your docker machine binary on your host machine to manage multiple docker machines and in the next video we will see it's going to be very similar uh, just the driver will be different instead of virtualbox driver we will be using amazon ec2 driver and let's have a quick look how to create a machine in amazon ec2 all right i'll see you all in my next video bye bye